is going on guys? Andy Gabs back. Day two here at BHB and the Reptarium in Michigan. And for today's video, my goal is to show you guys every single animal that lives in the Reptarium. Every single one. So this video might be kind of long. Uh, some of them I'm going to go kind of quickly through and then I'll take some out and whatnot. But uh, if you guys think that's a good idea, comment down below. I thought it would be cool. I know Brian ha probably hasn't done it in a little while. So uh, let's just start out. So first off, gator tank, right? Right now, these are the big gators. There's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six or seven of them in here. These guys are getting huge. So we got that guy hanging out right there. A couple guys in the water. This dude's kind of mean mugging right now. And basically my idea is just to start here, go all the way around down there, down and around, and then hit the center aisle. So moving on, we got the monkey tail skinks, but there's one back in that corner. You guys can see his tail right there. And then down below them, obviously, chicken strip out, getting some basking time right now. He always looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take out this next one. All right, so I know I've said multiple animals are my favorite here at the Reptarium, but this crazy dude, I think he, he's my actual favorite, right? So this is Toothless the Black Dragon. Uh, he's a little bit running around right now, but this guy is just so amazing. Like everything about him, his personality, the way he acts, he's super friendly. He loves to crawl around and go crazy. As you guys can see, he's kind of going down my back right now. But he's just such an amazing little dude. Um, yeah. Definitely one of my favorite guys here at the Reptarium. Next up, below Toothless, we have Argamus Prime. The, and then Perdita, the cow reticulated python, is sitting looking absolutely gorgeous. Below her, you got Snaz, the Burmese python. And then moving over, there's Diddy and Dixie. Both of them are kind of up there, you know, cuddling together. And then normally Sweetie's below them. I think she's over at BHB because she didn't want to eat yesterday or something like that. Then we got the emerald tree boa, which uh, you guys saw me try to feed the other day. Unfortunately, didn't want to eat. We got Taz, the tegu. Probably just barely see him. He's underneath his water bowl right there. He definitely loves to hide out in the water bowl for sure. Then we got night fury, the golden child, reticulated python, sitting right there looking absolutely stunning. Steely, who's a carpet python down beneath him. Then we got Nova, who is, oh, right there. What's up, Nova? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Nova's always a badass dude. And then this, the nice Dumeril's boa below. That takes care of this whole left side. So now we gotta go around to the other side, starting with, obviously, Bowser who's looking like a big badass right there in his cage and then guacamole the chameleon is in there you've got franklin the tortoise i don't remember the other one's name oh big mama and then matilda over there chilling in the corner matilda did not want to say hi i guess uh next up lucy the giant reticulated python i uh, not gonna go ahead and get in there with her you guys know how uh lucy is lucy then sunrise the albino berm right there she just looked over to say hi look at her just a little sweetheart. Above her, we got Casper, the big white retic, just hanging out. He's chilling. Then another one of my favorite snakes, we have Miss Daisy sitting down below, looking super pretty. She's kind of just hanging out. And then Butterscotch, we cleaned her enclosure yesterday, so she's got a nice clean enclosure. Just lounging, all the snakes are lounging right now, you know, early in the day, it's only about 9 a.m. right now. And then we got Ubisuku who is the giant night Nile monitor. She looks like she's grilling me a little bit. And I'd say that animal has come further in the Reptarium, in my opinion, than any other animal here. Um, I was here when they brought her in, and it was kind of crazy. Uh, and now, super nice, he was out yesterday. We were playing with him, walking around and everything. Amazing animal. Next up, you can see Ivy, the green anaconda, sitting up there in the corner. And one kind of cool thing about Ivy, um, Brian actually, you guys have probably seen in his videos and then on Instagram and stuff, he was looking for a big green anaconda, couldn't find one anywhere, and I had a friend that hit me up and had a big green anaconda for sale, so I hit up Brian and I was like, hey, you know, I've got this one, my buddy has it, super friendly, and it all worked out and got it, and he still loves her. Ivy's great, and she's gonna have a crazy new enclosure in the uh, the next Reptarium or the expansion of the Reptarium, so super excited to see that. And it just like holds a special place in my heart, I guess, because I 
proctored the deal, so to speak. Um, on the bottom here, we got Mr. Elvis, and then on the top, we got Bella, but let's take both of them out and mess with them for a little bit. So now I'm sitting on the floor, and let's see if Mr. Elvis wants to come out. Come on, bud. He looks like he's thinking about it. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Elvis. Super cool, dude. I love monitors so much, man. It's just like, snakes are great and they're awesome. But monitors just seem like they have like a different level of intelligence and then I feel like they just bond with you more. And I don't know, I just think they're they're cooler, I guess, than snakes. It just seems like there's more you can do with them. There's more interaction. And you can see him walking straight over to the camera right now. He's like, oh, I wonder what this is. Do you think I can eat it? I don't think you can eat that. Oh. I touched his tail and he was like, ah, oh, don't do that, please. This guy is definitely one of my favorites here at the Reptarium. And then here comes Miss Bella, the rhino iguana. She just wants to come say hi and get some love. Hi, oh, Bellos. Hi, oh, Bella. Oh, that's a good girl. Hi, oh, Belly. Are you just a sweetie pie? It's another one where she's just such a cool animal. She just grabbed my hand. You want to just hold hands, Bella? And just hang out? You wanna make out? Out of all of the reptiles here, I think that Bella is more of a, a dog than anything else. She comes when she's called, she lets you pet her, and she obviously loves to be petted. Um, definitely a crazy animal, and I would love to get one one day. So if you're watching this and you got some baby rhino iguanas, slide in the DMs. All right, and then that's the last for, I guess, this big side of cages, but still over here on this side, we have Bruce. Hi. He's the uh, reptarium's best animal. You got the arachnid wall. You know, not going to do much here because I don't do bugs, but there's some cool tarantulas and stuff. Bird eater, absolutely menacing right there. And uh, let's actually run over to the reptarium, or run over to BHB real quick. I'm going to grab a cockroach, and we'll see if the bird eater will eat. Let's try it. Got a big roach, and uh, we're gonna try to feed this terrifying tarantula. Did this, I can add this to the list of shit that I did not think I would be doing in my life, is opening a cage with the world's biggest tarantula in it to feed it a cockroach. Oh, ah, Jesus Christ, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> it's so fast! Stroke. Oh! Okay. Looks she, like she missed it. She, it's like right next to her. So you guys can see it. It's like, oh, no. she got it. Yes. Look at that, dude. That was fucking epic. Uh, well, thank you for letting me feed the tarantula. I appreciate that. Maybe we'll do another one at the end of the video if I'm not too much of a uh, bitch. All right, so we left off with the tarantula wall right here, right? Feeding that big bird eater who's still in the same spot. He's been there for like two days now. Um, but now I'm going to have Mr. J. Tomsky himself, the legend, is going to do a little bit of filming for me. Hell yeah. So get ready for it to look way better than it did when I was doing it. Um, oh, no, you're, you're flattering me. No, yeah. Come on, sweetie. Let's do it. Okay, next up, so we got Gerald the Doomerals Boa, Snowflake the Leucistic Texas Rat Snake, and then Jumper the Cuban Nidanol, and Cosmo and Wanda. So I want to show you guys Jumper up close and Cosmo and Wanda. Jumper because he's just f***ing cool. Cosmo and Wanda are my favorite smaller lizards here, by far. Like Their eyes, everything about them is wild. Uh, his name is Jumper, and his name is Jumper for a reason. I'd love for him to jump right on the microphone. That would be sick. Jump. There he goes. Almost onto the microphone, but hey, he's on the camera. They can probably jump, I'd say a solid like three or four feet if he really wanted to. These guys are gnarly. Their eyes are just the coolest reptile eyes I think that exist. Did you know they can actually see the full color spectrum at night? In the complete darkness, they can see the full color spectrum. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, that doesn't surprise me because of how big their eyes are. Yeah, these are one of my favorites too. They're, they're absolutely so bizarre. cool, dude. I just feel like they're so fragile. You know what I mean? Geckos in general, I yeah. always feel like that, yeah. They don't even look like eyeballs at all. Like they look like they're just little marbles stuck in as like prosthetics. And then they're so flat. Like so when they lay on when they lay on trees, basically they try to flatten themselves out as much as possible. So they just look like tree bark. And that's how they hide from everything. So you guys can see right there, like he almost blends in perfectly. And he just flattens himself out around that vine. And that's how they sit for hours and hours and hours just so nothing will mess with them but definitely super cool animals but uh now we can finally start moving on to the big center aisle now we're starting at the middle side we already got bowser we already got um the big mellers chameleon so we got a pied veiled chameleon right here um I'm not going to take a lot of these out just this video would probably be like 45 minutes long if i had to take every animal out so we got a pied veiled chameleon we got White's Tree Frogs down here, there in the corner, chilling. Chameleon. Those guys are super cool because they have rhino horns on them. 
And then, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know arboreal snakes are definitely my favorite thing. So we're gonna go ahead and take out Pickles, the green tree python. I wanna say it's an Aru locality. Do you know, Jay? I do not know off the top of my head. Bruce, is Pickles in Aru? Bruce! Uh, is Pickles in Aru? <laughs> I believe so, yeah. yeah. Jay said she's pretty friendly, but I guess she's gonna eat later, so as long as I don't get a food bite, I'll be happy. There we go. Oh, sorry, sweetie. Nope. No, come over here. There we go. Come on, no. Little bit of a process to get her out, but like I said, green tree pythons have been my favorite snakes for a long time, as well as emeralds and Amazon tree boas. As you guys know, I actually have an Amazon tree boa coming in, and I think he's gonna be at my house in probably like four or five days. So super excited to get that one in. I don't think I've showed you guys yet, so I was going to say I'll flash a picture, but I'm actually going to leave it a surprise. We'll do a whole unboxing video, and I actually have to build a temporary enclosure for it too, because I don't have lighting or heat for mine yet, but yeah, Pickles the Green Tree Python, definitely a beautiful animal. Alright, so we're going to go super fast for the next few, just because they're all like relatively common animals. So we got the notorious F-R-O-G, uh, apricot, Pac-Man frog, then we got ice croak, just a regular Pac-Man frog, we've got Raul the veiled chameleon. Then we've got another chameleon, a couple more frogs, the Mata Mata turtles, which are actually really badass. It's just kind of hard to, to show them very well. Um, but super cool when they eat, they create like a vortex with their mouth and they suck in stuff. It's really cool. Uh, Fetty Wap, the bearded dragon, he's out there chilling, you know, one eye. Then we got dart frogs, which you guys have all seen. You've seen my dart frogs in the past, super cool. We've got the albino carpet python right there, lounging on the rock. Still pretty small, that one's got a lot of growing to do. Then the albino Kunis Island, Island rat snake and Peaches, the Honduran milk snake. Looks like Peaches might have just took a little pee. <laughs> a little pee. A little pee pee. So we went through those so I could take a little bit of time with Lucky. So me and Lucky have a pretty uh, rich history, I guess you could call it. I definitely have many a scars and bites from Mr. Lucky. That's actually bruised. I'm surprised. Um, they have big teeth. Doesn't really hurt when you get bit. Uh, they're so sharp, but he's 100,000% gonna bite me already. As long as I don't take a bite in the face from him right now, I'll be pretty happy. There you go, look at that, that was pretty uneventful actually, I'm relatively surprised. Um, cool thing with these guys is usually you won't get bit like unsuspectingly. I can almost always tell when he's gonna bite me. Like right now, he's more than likely gonna bite my arm. But the cool thing about Lucky for the most part is he bites so gently. Like, he'll look at you and look at you and look at you, and then he'll bite you, just like that. And I won't lie, that one actually hurt pretty good. He got me like right on the tendon on my hand. Um, but it's not bad, you guys saw it, you know what I mean? It's just a quick little bite. Basically he's saying, hey, stop fucking around with me. Like, I don't want you to touch me, and I'm gonna bite you if you continue to touch me. Uh, so that's what he did. But yeah, not bad at all. And I will give you guys a little hint. The Amazon that I'm getting is very similar to Lucky. He looks, not very similar I guess, but pretty close. Jay's seen him. Um, definitely beautiful, but yeah, Lucky, one of my favorite animals here. So we left off with my main man, Lucky. So right below him, uh, there's a couple gargoyle geckos in here, I believe, but uh, I feel like it's gonna be pretty hard to find them, and I don't wanna you know, go in there and disturb them all that much. Moving around the corner, we got Honey. Honey is just a pastel pied ball python. You can kinda see her sitting right in the back right there. Below them, we got the Aki monitors. They're probably buried. They kind of just look like a very small version of Elvis if you've never seen them. Below them, you got Potato, the blue tongue skink. You got the most famous guy, Brian, doing work. Um, Potato, the blue tongue skink, is below him. And then again, we got more dart frogs. So cool that there's so many dart frogs here at the Reptarium. I mean, these guys are uh, dying poison arrow frogs, kind of like a pretty yellow color and this dude's climbing the glass right now in the wild you definitely wouldn't want to mess with those dudes uh, as their name you know kind of kind of shows poison dart frog in captivity though they don't eat what they eat in the wild that makes them poisonous so you're all good you can touch them all you want this is kermit he's a scots garter snake you can see him it looks like he was probably just getting a drink and we interrupted him and uh, i'm gonna open the cage to show you guys this one because pretty famous one that is loves to nip uh, already kind of looks like he's gonna mess me up. Let's uh, let's open Loves to Nip and uh, let's get a little bit, let's get a little close to him, huh? Looking as beautiful as ever. And uh, doesn't look like he wants to mess me up too, too bad at this point. Just kind of like more curious. 
on what's going on. Oh, there we go. And uh, I definitely, you know, I don't want to take a bite from Love's Nip just because it would, it would definitely hurt a lot. I mean, you can see just the size of the head right there. But definitely still a very pretty animal. She is definitely scary. All right, so now we're gonna go kind of rapid fire through the next of these because I really, like I said, this video is probably already 15 minutes at this point and uh, I don't wanna make it a 45 minute video. So, we got the Mandarin rat snake in here, again, probably hiding somewhere. This is Big Bertha. She is a uh, giant gecko or Lichianus. Don't see her though, but you know, their camo is also incredible, so she could very well be like right there and I'm just blind. Below her, we got some giant day geckos. Very pretty guys. Uh, you can't really take them out though. They're very fast. And I don't wanna be the guy that lets something go here with the reptarium. Oh, and real quick, duh. We got Mr. Santana chilling right there. He's a Savannah monitor. The OG flaming Hot Cheeto. Chilling, looking absolutely beautiful. He's kind of just like, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, not a fan of these guys. Alan Peggy, giant toads. Then we got Jeffrey, the hypo granite Burmese python. Again, that's probably my favorite Burmese python color mutation. They're just beautiful. And then tiger lily, uh, Brazilian rainbow boa. I don't know where he's at. Probably under the water bowl, something like that. Chicken strip also says what up. Then everybody knows Mr. Pinocchio, um, he's the rhino rat snake looking sexy as ever. We got Mr. Nubbins, he's a Dominican mountain boa down there. We got some more crested geckos in this beautiful live planted enclosure right here. Joker, the scaleless Texas rat snake, I actually just filmed a TikTok with him. If you're on TikTok, look me up, Andy Gab, same name, uh, I'm up to like 77k on there now, so getting pretty close. 100k squad. Everyone knows that big goober right there. Chunky monkey, uh, obviously looking phenomenal. Then we got Crackle. He's one of the trios of Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Black-headed python. Some gargoyle geckos in there. Verde, the green anaconda, is looking beautiful. I believe she just took a meal down yesterday. I can't wait until she gets as big as Ivy, the green anaconda. How cool will that be, having two massive green anacondas? Then we got some more beautiful poison dart frogs right there. Then we got Maisie, she's an Okatee Abbott's corn snake. Just chilling in her little hide. Then there's a Vietnamese mossy frog in here. Impossible to find, not even gonna try. Uh, we got Wilma Python right there, looking stunning as ever. And then again, two fan favorites, two of my favorites. Salt and Pepper, the Melanistic and Albino Alligator, so let's get a closer look at them. All right, so here it is, here's Pepper. Dude, these guys are getting absolutely massive. I mean, even just, I was here two months ago and I feel like he's almost doubled in size. And uh, you can see, he's being a little bit cantankerous, but still great guy. I mean, look at him close his eyes when I rub his head like that. Oh, he's not closing that one, but he's closing this one on this side. He's just closing his eyes, enjoying his head rubs. Um, but yeah, that mouth open display, I mean, he would definitely probably take a pop at me if he could. But luckily, you just kind of hold them like this. They can't really get their, uh, their head around, but yeah, dude, Pepper is looking absolutely incredible. I cannot wait until this guy's, you know, six, seven, eight feet long, even RJ's size. Um, he's gonna be incredible. The complete polar opposite of Pepper, this is Salt. Super nice, super chill, came out of the enclosure without issue. I mean, this is definitely just such an amazing animal. I mean, the whites, the pinks along her back, I mean, it's probably hard, it's kind of hard for me to get the angle, but I think you guys can see it right about there. And I'm not worried about her biting me at all right now. You can see she's just absolutely chill. Such a beautiful animal. It almost seems like she likes the attention, whereas Pepper, I feel like he's not mean. He just wants to be kind of left alone, I guess, more than Salt, but I really do feel like Salt kind of likes the attention and she's like, oh yeah, you know, scratch, scratch my head, that feels so good. One of my favorite animals here, for sure. So that took care of Salt and Pepper, and then just four left. This enclosure's got some leopard geckos in it. Then we got Peppa, like Peppa Pig for the Western Hognose Snake, you know? Peppa Pig, hog nose, pig hog. Then we got two super cool snakes, and that is Ben and Jerry and Helen. So Ben and Jerry obviously is the two-headed California king snake, and then Helen is an albino ball python, but she doesn't have any eyes. So there's Ben and Jerry, you know, he looks absolutely amazing. 
As always, um, I had him out a little bit earlier today, so I don't want to take him out again and mess with him. And then Helen, the albino ball python you can see right there, no eyes, and she still does perfectly fine. That is every single animal here at the Reptarium. Now, of course, there is some animals that are over at BHB that just aren't on display right now. Maybe they, you know, they went off food or something like that. Um, there's Andy, you know, who's named after me. He's off display, but he'll be back on once the expansion opens. So I know I went, you know, kind of fast. I didn't take a ton of stuff out, but again, this video would have been 40 minutes long if I did that. But I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please smash the like button for me. Drop a comment down below. What is your favorite animal at the Reptarium? Subscribe if you're new here. Turn that notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely more to come from BHB. Peace.